Hey guys, it's Ev Chapman here. Welcome back to this video and welcome back to the channel. I haven't done uh, many videos um, since I did my year of pursuing Kazen, but I actually want to switch gears today and talk a little bit nerdy, a little bit geeky about my setup for presenting on Zoom. Okay, so a bit of background about me. I work in marketing. Particularly, I work in coaching, fitness and wellness studios, how to do marketing. So, uh, in a previous life, before this uh, period that we've just been in, I taught presentations. I did workshops, uh, webinars, all that kind of thing, but mostly in person. Um, and so, you get to see people and present to people and present to rooms of people. Obviously, now, uh, we're all on Zoom, and I've had plenty of Zoom meetings um, over this whole period. So I've had this killer set up, and I thought that I would share it. So basically, it's uh, presenting my whole workshop, so through like presentation slides, on Zoom, but using my iPad. So basically, I have my MacBook set up here, and um, I project my iPad onto a screen on my MacBook, and then I just present. Okay, so the question really is, why? Why would you wanna use your iPad to present a presentation on Zoom when you really could just use your computer to do it all? Well, that's a great question. I suppose some of the reasons for me is firstly, I do like to flick between presentation and then using notes to scribble and um, illustrate points. Um, so I'm very much, it's, it's kind of like when you're in a room with people and you have your presentation slides but you also have a whiteboard or you have kind of an easel or something that you write on. I think it's exactly the same and so you can flick between the two very easily using your iPad. Um, the other thing about the iPad is that I really find it an immersive experience. So um, I don't have notifications turned on on my iPad. I just, you know, when I'm there, I just feel like I'm in it. When I've got my computer, I've got two screens here. I've got notifications happening. I've got this. It's very distracting. Um, and I think really the third thing is that it just feels super cool and creative to be using an iPad to do the presentation. Enough about that, I wanna show you exactly how I get this done. You're gonna need a few things. One, you are gonna need a desktop computer. Uh, whether that is an Apple, a PC, or whatever, you, that's where you wanna start your Zoom meeting. You're gonna need an iPad. I've got the iPad Pro 12.9 inch, and I'm in love with it. I would never go to the smaller one. I've always had, you know, once they came out with these large ones, I'm in. Um, but you could use any, the Pro, the Air, whatever, whatever you wanna use, okay? Um, apart from the hardware, you're gonna need some software, okay? Obviously, you're gonna need Zoom, or some kind of way to present to people, okay? Um, you are going to need a, a piece of software called Air Server, okay? Um, I have this installed on my Mac, on my MacBook, and basically what it is, is it creates another AirPlay destination that you can present on. So I can just flick down on the uh, control center on my iPad, and I can go screen sharing, and I can click Evelyn's MacBook Pro, and then it projects up onto the MacBook. It is a killer piece of software that has changed the game for me when sharing either my iPad, I can even use my iPhone. So I do a lot of like showing people how to use apps and stuff like that, which is amazing, okay? Um, so Air Server is essential, and then you're gonna need, um, I use Google Slides, and this is actually how I made it happen. So before this I was using PowerPoint, I was so sick of PowerPoint, um, I didn't wanna use Keynote, uh, and so I decided, well, I love Google Docs and Google Sheets, why wouldn't I love Google Slides? And I was not wrong. Google Slides is the most underrated um, slideshow presentation software, um, and it's actually the piece of the puzzle that was missing in this whole setup, okay? So, 
let's get into it. I want to show you exactly how this works. Okay, guys. So let's look how to make this happen. So um, there's actually two ways from Google Slides itself to share with Air, Air Server. So um, you can actually just go into Google Slides and hit the play button and you'll see from Air Server, you'll see the um, Evelyn's MacBook Pro or your, your MacBook or iMac or whatever. You can click on that and then it comes up on the screen. Um, so I personally don't use this, um, but if you still want to be able to do other things on your iPad that you don't want people to see on the presentation, this is the best way. Um, because I can be flicking through my slides, but then I've, I've just flicked out of my slot and kind of checking my emails and doing stuff. But what you can still see on the presentation on Air Server is my presentation. Now, the reason I don't use this, and let's just stop that for a minute, um, is because I also use notes. Uh, and scribble on my iPad. So I, I want to flip between the two. So if you want that to happen, best way to do it is um, slide down at the top so you get your control center, go to screen mirroring, and then choose your air server display. Okay, so I choose my MacBook, and then now you're seeing my actual MacBook, uh, my actual iPad come up. I can flick out of that, I can go to any of the apps, I can come back. When I want to present, okay, because and I'd want to be in presentation mode before I go to Zoom, is I just go present to external display. And so now on the air server screen, you can see the slides, I can move them, but then I can also flick out and I can go to notes. And so I can start some new notes, I can scribble whatever i do a lot of scribbling and then i just go straight back into google slides and it's right back there where i am and i just continue to go across this is an excellent way um, to uh to present if you like to switch between slides and scribbling which is what i like to do um and then the the way to then get that to share right so you know at the moment we're just sharing that on Air server but if you're presenting on uh, zoom what you want to do is you want to go to your zoom screen go share screen and then you want to make sure that you choose the air server window okay so when you choose that window it doesn't matter what else is on the screen if I move something in front of the screen or behind you only see that screen now the other move that I would say you should do is click both of these on okay so um basically what this does is it shares your computer sound so if you've ever had somebody play music um just on zoom without any enhancement it sounds pretty bad it's choppy it goes low and then high and um pretty bad so i like to play music when we have like um, breaks and stuff like that um, so I um, so I always make sure that goes on and it gives a really clear, beautiful sound for music. And then also if you've got video clips in your um, presentation, make sure you flick that on. And then once you press share, then you're sharing the air server screen, but all of your presentation is happening through the iPad. I'm flicking clicking and it's all happening there I can go I can go to notes I can draw and so basically my whole presentation is happening on the iPad um, but people are seeing it because I'm using air server um, I found this a really killer setup since I've been using it I don't have to flip between you know before I was flipping between sharing my screen on the MacBook and sharing my screen on the iPad. It just wasn't working for me. And I just find this is a really seamless, seamless way to, to do presentations and to do workshops uh, through Zoom with your iPad. So that's it guys. That is my setup for presenting workshops and webinars using Zoom on 
my iPad Pro. Um, and I'm telling you, I'm just loving this setup. I would love to know if you've got a different kind of setup, um, if, uh, if you've got any questions, anything like that, please put it in the comments. I love to geek out over all this stuff, if you couldn't already tell. Um, so I'm gonna leave you there. Please, uh, if this video is helpful, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm probably gonna continue putting up some uh, geeky type videos around iPads and workflows and productivity and all of that. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video.